How is your life in the world? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico, of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to the Gospel for um, May the, the 12th, 2020, according to St. John. After this, Jesus went about in Galilee. He did not wish to go about in Judea, because the Jews were looking for an opportunity to kill him. Now the Jewish festival of the Booths was near. So his brothers said to him, Leave here and go to Judea, so that your disciples may also see the works you are doing. For no one who wants to be widely known acts in secret. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For not even his brothers believed in him. Jesus said to them, My time has not yet come, but your time is always here. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me, because I testify against it that, the works are, that its works are evil. Go to the festival yourselves. I am not going to this festival, for my time has not yet fully come. After saying this, he remained in Galilee. But after his brothers had gone to the festival, then he also went, not publicly, but as it were in secret. The Jews were looking for him at the festival and saying, Where is he? And there was considerable complaining about him among the crowds. While some were saying, he is a good man, others were saying, no, he is deceiving the crowd. Yet no one would speak openly about him for fear of the Jews. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Does the world hate you? Or are you having a great time in the world? It is easy to see whether you are close to God or not. Very easy. If you are being successful, if you are just spending every day having banquets and drinking merrily and dancing and singing and all of that, you're far from God. Regardless of what you might say, you are far from God. Listen to what the Lord just said today. The world cannot hate you. Why? Because you are of the world. But if you start following the Christ truly, then the world will hate you. And why the reason he says openly? Because I show that its works are evil. Is it evil to be merry? Not if the merriment comes out of God. We at this time are constantly very happy and orthodox because we say, Christos vos crece, Christos anesti, Christ has risen, indeed he is risen. And that is our joy. The joy is that regardless of this world, regardless of this life, regardless of COVID and everything else, regardless of death and pain, God is willing to grant us, you and me, life eternal in a place before himself where we will be eternally happy. And that is the joy. Not this world, not this place. We must be bold to do what God wants us to do. We must be brave to tell everyone what God wants us to do, what God expects them to do, to teach them. But not like those witnesses of Jehovah that like to carry their, their Bible under the arm and with the tie and knocking on the doors or standing on the corners and saying, this is what the Lord commands. No. What we have to show is in our own lives how we live the gospel. And that is very hard. That is very, very hard. Because when we start living the gospel, people will start hating us because it shows. Somebody will come, say, to your office and will say some bad words, a nasty joke, and you will not laugh. And everybody is going to look at you and say, why aren't you laughing? Oh, I remember, you're the Christian guy. Somebody, some of your partners, some of your friends might say, hey, let's go do this, do this uh, bad business and we will uh, 
rob these people and we'll make a bunch of money and you will say no I don't want to and they will look at you and say wow you are always complaining about things people will like to spend the whole night dancing and drinking and you will not want to do that people will like to get up late on Sundays and you will not be able to do that because you want to get up early on Sunday and go to pray and go to your divine liturgy people will like to hate everyone and to take advantage on everyone and you will pray and suffer because of the suffering of everyone you see God provides us to be different if we are willing to suffer if we are willing to suffer now then we will be much in joy when he comes again for blessed is our God always now and ever and unto ages of ages Amen